Joining us now from Singapore, it's our energy reporter, Dan Murta. Dan, this is part of the transformation story under Bob Dudley, but why, why now? Why call it time at the end of six decades? Yeah, man, I see exactly right. Uh, BP owns part of one of the biggest oil fields in Alaska. It's the biggest owner of the 800 mile long pipeline that makes Alaska oil po possible. But for it, them, this is all in the past. And they want to focus on the future. And the future is projects in places like the U.S. Gulf of Mexico, in West Africa, and the U.S. shale fields down in Texas and New Mexico, where they spent $10 billion buying fields from BHP last year. They want to focus their capital there because unlike Alaska, where production's been declining for years, they, these prospects can still grow and increase BP's output and, uh, and provide more revenue and more growth for its shareholders into the future. Dan, give us a little bit more context on Hillcorp and what its plans are. Sure. Now, this is an interesting part of it because Hillcorp, under Jeffrey Hiltonbrand, is basically doing the exact opposite of what BP wants to do. Uh, my colleague Kevin Crowley termed him the anti-shale billionaire. He's from Texas, but he's buying assets that are outside of the shale patches and instead in places like Wyoming or Alaska here that are not these sexy growth prospects but are producing oil, generating revenue, and look to be you know, very steady streams of money for years to come.